Welcome back to Myths, Legends, and Truths, and today we're going to talk about Krampus. But before that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Krampus is a horned anthropomorphic figure in the central and eastern alpine folklore of Europe who during the Advent season scares children who have misbehaved. Assisting St. Nicholas, or Santa Claus, the pair visit children on the night of December 5th, with St. Nicholas rewarding the well-behaved children with modest gifts such as oranges, dried fruit, walnuts, and chocolate, while the badly behaved ones only receive punishment from Krampus with birch rods. The origin of the figure is unclear. Some folklorists and anthropologists have postulated it as having pre-Christian origins in traditional parades and in such events as the Krampus Loaf. Young men participate dressed as Krampus and attempt to scare the audience with their antics. Such events occur annually in most Alpine towns. Krampus is featured on holiday greeting cards called Krampus Carton. The figure has been imported into American popular culture and has appeared in movies, TV, and video games. The word Krampus is thought to come from either Bavarian, Krampen, meaning dead, rotten, or from the German Kramp, Krampen, meaning claw. In regards to the origins, the history of the Krampus figure has been theorized as stretching back to pre-Christian Alpine traditions with celebrations involving Krampus dating back to the 6th or 7th century CE. Though there are no written sources before the end of the 16th century, discussing his observations in 1975 while Idring a small town in Syria, anthropologist John J. Huntingman wrote that, quote, The St. Nicholas Festival we are describing incorporates cultural elements widely distributed in Europe, in some cases going back to pre-Christian times. Nicholas himself became popular in Germany around the 11th century. The feast dedicated to this patron of children is only one winter occasion in which children are the objects of special attention. Others being Martimus, the Feast of the Holy Innocents, and New Year's Day. Mass devils acting oddly and making nuisances of themselves are known in Germany since at least the 16th century while animal mass devils combining dreadful comic antics appeared in medieval church plays. A large literature, much of it by European folklorists, bears on these subjects. Austrians in the community we studied are quite aware of the heathen elements being blended with Christian elements in the St. Nicholas customs and in other traditional winter ceremonies. They believe Krampus derives from a pagan supernatural who assimilates to the Christian devil, end quote. The Krampus figures persisted, and by the 17th century, Krampus had been incorporated into Christian winter celebrations by pairing Krampus with St. Nicholas. In regards to modern history, in the aftermath of the 1932 election in Austria, the Krampus tradition was prohibited by the Dolphus Regimen. Under the clerical fascist Fatherland's Front, towards the end of the century, a popular resurgence of Krampus celebrations occurred and continues today. The Krampus tradition is being revived by Bavaria as well, along with local artist traditions of hand-carved wooden masks. 
In 2019, there were reports of drunken or disorderly conduct by mass Krampuses in some his appearance. Although Krampus appears in many variations, most share some common physical characteristics. He is hairy, usually brown or black, and has the cloven hooves and horns of a goat. His long pointed tongue lolls out and he has fangs. Krampus carry chains thought to symbolize the binding of the devil by the Christian church. He thrashes the chains for dramatic effect. The chains are sometimes accompanied with bells of various sizes. Of more pagan origins, as the root, a bundle of birch branches that Krampus carries and with which he occasionally swats children. The root may have had significance in pre-Christian pagan initiation rites. The birch branches are replaced with a whip in some representations. Sometimes Krampus appears with a sack or a basket strapped to his back. This is to cart off evil children for drowning, eating, or transport to hell. Some of the older versions make mention of naughty children being put in the bag and taken away. This quality can be found in other companions of St. Nicholas, such as Wart Piet. The Feast of St. Nicholas is celebrated in parts of Europe on December 6th. The preceding evening of December 5th, Krampus night, the wicked hairy devil appears on the streets, sometimes accompanying St. Nicholas and sometimes on his own. Krampus visits homes and businesses. The saint usually appears in the eastern rite vestments of a bishop, and he carries a golden ceremonial staff. Unlike North American versions of Santa Claus, in these celebrations, St. Nicholas concerns himself only with the good children, while Krampus is responsible for the bad. Nicholas dispenses gifts, while Krampus supplies coals and the root.